What's going on, all my friends out there in the, in the real world? BC Gamer here. I hope everybody's doing good. I wanted to talk to you guys about this little incident that happened over the weekend. Well, I guess it's not a little incident. It is a pretty big deal. Sony's PlayStation Network was hacked and compromised over the weekend, and it debilitated the system. People were not able to play their games. People were not able to access things like Netflix, and uh, it was very frustrating. Now, uh, over the weekend, I was actually pretty busy. I was helping my father move, so I didn't get to do too much gaming, but Sunday night, I... I, I found out about the hack and um, it to say the least I'm very disappointed in Sony and I think a lot of us out there who love the PS4 and love Sony love Sony games are frustrated with their PlayStation Plus security parameters uh, 2011 we had the biggest video game hack of all time happen it happened to Sony uh, the systems were down for over two months and uh, you know everyone's personal credit card information was accessed by a group of hackers that have that had a vendetta, and you would think that Sony would have learned from that, you know, uh, to to increase their security for their their network, and they probably did quite a bit, but they were able to be hacked and accessed by a group of hackers again over the weekend. And now this this group of hackers hacked Sony with a DDoS attack, and uh, it's a little bit different than an attack that happened in 2011. A DDoS attack is uh, an attack that makes your servers think that they're overrun with traffic and so it crashes the servers. And so this particular attack wasn't looking for anyone's you know, uh, personal data or information or credit card information, but they basically wanted to de debilitate the PlayStation Network for the users. Which is un you know, unfortunate for us that there is a group of people out there who want to screw up our gaming experience, but nonetheless it's still Sony's responsibility to make sure these things don't happen or minimize the possibilities of them being successful. Now I don't know how much uh, this group or this hacker group knows of what they you know tried to do but they were only able to be successful with the DDoS attack and uh, and overrun Sony's uh, you know network and their servers. Um, but I still think this is totally unacceptable. You know 2011 two months without PSN of course, PSN in 2011 was totally free, so you know you can't really complain too much about you know something that you're not paying for in the first place. But it broke the experience for so many people that Sony ended up giving out free games, two free games to everybody, and uh, you know two free games for a service you didn't pay for in the first place is not bad. But if you think about you know the the fact that you couldn't get online or play games or even play single player games that you bought through the PlayStation Network for two months, that's extremely uh, disheartening and frustrating. Now here we are three years later and Sony gets this uh, DDoS attack that debilitates their systems and here we are down for a day. But the difference now is Sony should have learned from 2011 which they probably did but now they've got millions of PlayStation Plus adopters. Um, but we got millions of people now who own you know who subscribe to the PlayStation Plus and uh, that's so much money and all that money could be going into the security infrastructure of the PlayStation Network to minimize possibilities of this happening um, and so the thing is this group obviously has a vendetta uh, with Sony but it's still unfortunate this kind of stuff happens and I hope in the future that Sony is able to you know get on the ball and do as well as Microsoft does with their Xbox Live. Xbox Live doesn't have these kind of issues. I think Xbox Live maybe have, may have gotten hacked once or twice in the history of their their whole uh, Xbox Live that I know of. It may have happened more, but only that I know of. And uh, for the most part, their security is pretty top notch. And Sony should adapt or adopt their uh, mentality when it comes to protecting their online service. So today I was trying to play The Last of Us online, and uh, I sat in front of my TV for 30 minutes. And uh, every time I got into the lobby. Um, and try to join a match I, after three or four minutes I get a message saying cannot connect to matchmaking server and I was like what the hell is going on so I didn't know what, if they had been hacked again or what and so I got online and I found out that Sony is actually doing a, an update today Thursday the 28th and this update is to uh, I guess fix some of the remaining bugs of this hack and uh, optimize you know the PlayStation Network the way it should be I ran across an article on GameSpot.com, and uh, there will be a link in the description. 
Uh, a DDoS attack over the weekend forced Sony to delay my Monday's previously planned PlayStation Network maintenance. And now it's been rescheduled. The maintenance will take place today, August 28th from 9.40 a.m. to 10.50 p.m. Pacific. That's about seven hours. During the maintenance period, Sony said Sony will deploy a series of back-end improvements to the PSN, the company says in a post on the PlayStation Support website. If you have signed into PSN on PS3 or PS4, anytime since August 23rd, you'll be able to continue playing games and accessing apps like Netflix during this maintenance period without issue. However, the PlayStation Store, PlayStation Home, and account management will not be available during the maintenance period today. Sony says we thank you for your patience and support and apologize for any inconvenience this may cause. A group of hackers took responsibility over the weekend for launching a DDoS attack on PSN, though no personal information was compromised, Sony says. The same group that targeted the PSN also claimed responsibility for a bomb threat that made American Airlines ground a flight Sunday, carrying Sony Online Entertainment President John Smedley. The FBI is currently investigating the case. Whoever this, this group is, this hacking group, they obviously have a vendetta against Sony. And if they're going that far just to uh, smite Sony, who knows, man? Maybe uh, all the, the, the protection in the world, this group of hackers would have tried their best to do something to the, to the network. So who knows? But nonetheless, I think Sony should improve their security. I think Sony should work hard to make sure this kind of stuff doesn't happen to its users and subscribers to the PlayStation Plus. You guys, let me know what you think about this story, what Sony should do to minimize the possibility of this happening in the future. I hope you guys enjoyed this multiplayer footage of me smashing ass in The Last of Us Remastered. I'm the Beastly Gamer, and I'll see you guys next time. Wait, that one's dead. I'll fix you up. Keep breathing. Oh, I gotta go.